So here's the intake to this envoy. We have one, two, three, four, five, and then there's a hidden one back here. There's six. Move this up. There's seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten fasteners to hold this on. We have a vacuum line up here, a wiring harness, another vacuum line, and then of course there and your electrical connector. Um, right here is where the computer was and basically you just attach that take these two fasteners out which the studs are still in and then there is a, another fastener down here all 10 millimeter so yep you gotta watch you got that hidden fastener right there behind this here vacuum tube so but that's what she looks like Get off of the ground and also there is some electrical loom that you got to deal with too so not that bad to pull but somewhat of a pain so now we have more access in here to be able to get to the more of the electrical connectors over here uh, I'm going to start next by getting ready to take out my starter, which is just removing the uh, electrical connecting connections. There's one here, there's one there, and that's it. So these two, and then the two fastener to hold it into the back of the uh, transmission or engine block. Never had one of these parts, so I don't know. It's part of the engine block. Uh, I've disconnected my heater hoses right here. So then that way I don't have to mess with the heater hoses over on this side of the engine. Those lines will just transfer over onto that motor. Um, yep, got a couple more electrical connectors for the uh, EVAP system. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and remove it right here. Which like on the, the upper part that goes onto the intake to remove this line that's up here right on the throttle body you just push down on this which then opens that and pull it out we'll do the same thing right here leave this connected to the engine just remove it uh, electrical connector leave it all there transfer it over to the other motor and then the next thing I'm going to do later on is remove the front drive shaft for the front differential and then we'll have the fun of getting back behind the motor and taking the um, bolts loose for the transmission to the engine block and removing the torque converter bolts and then this engine should be pretty darn close to being removed we still gotta deal with the engine mounts and most likely how I will deal with that is yeah is I'll loosen them up here and on both sides because they're both designed the same and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the engine up and once the engines up in the air I'm gonna go ahead and break loose the engine mount from here off of the side of the frame which is kind of the idea I've got to give more clearance for that motor to come up and out and not have to uh, deal with it I think that is my plan and hopefully that will work so we are looking pretty decent on this project today I'm going to take me a quick little break Hopefully you're liking the content, but it was pretty easy to remove that, but it was kind of, kind of a pain. So I'm a 10 millimeter fast, <laughs> fasteners, woo, we got the hiccups now. So, but I'm going to take a break and then we will come back. Okay, we finally got somewhere. We got the starter out, we got the torque converter bolts undone. Like I said, everything over here is done. Went down and pulled the um, exhaust that's all unbolted 
it's still hanging out the flange and everything but yeah we are really super close now also got the drive shaft disconnected you can see right there it's kicked over to the side so we are getting closer and closer to getting this motor pulled but unfortunately I have lost or cannot find my long extension to hit the engine transmission bolts socket or my extension because it will make it easier having one continuous extension except but then having a whole bunch of little extensions hooked up so I guess I'll have to go buy a new one of those or it's around here somewhere but we are getting close so hopefully here this upcoming week the motor be pulled so not much of a how to do kind of thing but more than hey this is what I've been doing today I got a lot done pretty happy about it so now I gotta go out to my Uncle Bobby's get his motor deck and take that thing apart grease some bearings and get the blades off so he can sharpen them and uh, that'll be my day watch the Mingles game maybe later on might go for a little spin on the bike I don't know but the video is what it is and that's the end of this episode part four or five whatever so hopefully this upcoming week we will be seeing the motor pulled and be swiping the parts over to the new donor motor and getting that put in here and getting this project finished up so we can get it out so we can get that escape put in here and that'll be another fun project to start doing so like always comment rate and subscribe the video is what it is and you know later on